Hello my friends, my name is Multanen. Welcome to this short introduction video to my script called Cuber. I designed Cuber to meet my own needs, meaning basically that I would be able to create 3D cubes out of already existing layers in my composition. So uh, here's a quick example. Uh, let me just bring in a uh, DVD cover. So usually what I do for like product shots, uh, for commercials and stuff, I usually put the DVD cover and I uh, click the 3D switch and just position it and maybe add, it, add a little perspective to it like that. Uh, but you know, it looks kind of flat. It still looks kind of flat. So I wanted to address that in a very simple, quick and easy to use solution. So this is uh, how I did it. Uh, I'm going to either get rid of this layer or just simply pre-compose it, uh, leaving all the attributes inside of this composition. That will create a new composition uh, with the size of uh, my solid, of my texture actually. So what I wanted to do is to be able to select the layer that I'm currently working with and just launch a script. Uh, by the way, I'm using FT toolbar, which you can also find here on AE scripts, and uh, that allows you to create your own toolbar. So I've got a lot of my scripts over here, one of which is my multi-cuber script. So uh, the great thing about this is that it already takes all the info it can get from your project. And in this case, that means the width and the height of your cube. So the only thing the script will ask you is the depth. And that's actually pretty cool because it doesn't have any uh, user interface whatsoever. You just click the button if you've got it connected to your FT toolbar and just type in the depth. The default is 100. Click OK and you're done. So we can go back to our final composition and to be able to see the 3D uh, box, to see the 3D extrusion uh, per se, we just need to collapse the transformations. And right now we've got a fully three-dimensional uh, box that is fast, it's accelerated by After Effects because it's native After Effects layers. Uh, and what's great about this is that if you want to change the color, for example, or add something on top of it, you can just go ahead inside this composition, maybe change uh, the view to a custom view, that's what I like to do, and just apply, let's say, a ramp, for example. So I'm going to apply a ramp uh, to this layer and I'm actually going to apply the same ramp to all the layers, which will give this a little bit more uh, depth. So right now, if we go back to uh, our final composition, this is uh, how it looks like. And uh, another cool thing about this is that it's also designed in a way that you can substitute the generate layers for your own textures. Uh, let me just get rid of the uh, ramp effect. And before I show you how to replace it with textures, I'm going to show you another cool feature. Uh, that is, you can easily change the color of the generated box as a whole. Uh, so what you have to do is to simply select one of the generated layers, click Ctrl Shift Y to enter the solid settings, and make sure that you've got affect all layers that use the solid selected. As you can see, this change will affect five layers, so five of these and you just simply select an appropriate color that you like. Uh, a good idea is to grab a color from uh, the cover that you're working with. So in this case, it may be black uh, or maybe, maybe not black, maybe just a little bit uh, dark gray like that. Click OK and when we go back to the final composition, this is what we get. And the important thing to note out is that these are after Effects 3D layers. So they work with 3D lights. You've got blending modes. You've got all the good stuff that regular layers give you. Uh, so just throw in a three-dimensional floor, throw in a light and have your 3D box casting shadows. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing is that if you want to change uh, the generated layers to your own textures, it is designed in a way that you can just simply alt drag the layers and replace them. However, this is built to be as universal as possible. Therefore, you will see that those layers are collapsed to have the highest quality, no matter the size of your box. Therefore, 
in order to be able to change the color of all the layers at once and not to create too many unnecessary large layers in your project, uh, I figured that all their layers should be 100 by 100 pixels and to match the size of your box, they should be scaled. So that's exactly what's happening here, as you can see. So uh, to replace the generated layers with your texture, uh, you just have to select the appropriate layers. Uh, usually you will have textures for all the sides. So all you have to do is to select the layers, press the S key to reveal the scale, select all the properties and just go ahead and right click and choose reset. However, in this case, I only have the back and the side. So I'm going to select this side, this side and this side, which is the back. So one, two, three, I'm just selecting those three layers, clicking reset and right now I can just simply replace those layers with my appropriate JPEG so that would be side and this one will be back just like that uh, you've probably noticed that I had a gap in here and that is because my initial cube depth was set to 100 pixels as you remember while in fact if I want to replace the generated layers with my own textures I should check what width or height depending on your case uh, the file you want to be replacing with has so in this case it has 80 pixels therefore I don't need to reposition the layers I don't have to worry about all that I can just simply delete all the layers not think about it click here, run the script again, enter 80 pixels and that's it. Again, I think I want to change, uh, I think I want to change the color. So I'm just gonna grab uh, black and maybe just move it up a bit. It's not even black and that's kind of cool. Okay, okay. So right now I'm going to select those three layers, click S for scale, reset the scale and now I'm just going to replace those two with the milk side uh, alt dragging it onto the comp and the last one I'm going to replace with the back and that way I've got a fully three-dimensional cool looking uh, CD case and actually I can just put a CD inside of it just like that um, scale it down obviously make it a 3d layer and to make it match with my uh, 3D DVD case, I can just go ahead to the position uh, attribute or actually to the whole transform, copy it and paste it to my CD. Right now I can just scale it up. And remember, since those are native After Effects 3D layers, they do intersect with each other, which is really cool because I can actually make this CD uh, roll out of this DVD case. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up the position keyframe. I can actually even parent this to my uh, DVD case. That way, when I move it, the CD will move along with it. So uh, I'm just going to add a few keyframes, two keyframes over here and over here. I'm going to move it on the X axis like that and add a nice easy ease and there we go. That's the whole thing. How long did that took? I don't know, probably seconds. So that's my script, Multicuber in a nutshell. If you want a more detailed explanation, check out the next extended longer tutorial where I will show you how to create other stuff like three dimensional laptops that even has the option to open up and close so you will not only see how to use my script but you will also actually learn something cool about After Effects in the process. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. My name is Maltanen. Happy After Effecting.